Tyler, we can all say how great this was, how dominant it was. What was it? What did it feel like for you to get not only those big outs tonight, but every big out throughout this postseason? Honestly, the fuel that does, you know, that, that drives me to do that is just the love I got for my teammates. You know, I know how hard they work all off season, all season. I see them grinding, I see them battling through in injuries, uh, rehabbing to get back. Um, and knowing that those guys are doing all that just to win baseball games um, is kind of the fuel to my fire. And so when I go out there and I have a chance to, to help the team go to the next level, I'm going to let it, let it all hang out and do what I need to do. Okay, next question. In the back, Brad, on the right. Yeah, AJ, uh, out on the field, Alex Anthopoulos was talking about the tough decision that Snit faced in pinch hitting for Ian when he did. And then what a great move it was because it kept that inning going and put Rosario in the position. But, of course, the flip side of that is that means you're coming in pretty early, got to do the job. What was your mindset when you saw what was taking place and, and coming out the way that you did? Yeah, I just uh, come in and cover as you know, many outs as I possibly could. Um, this team has you know, gone through so much, um, including this guy right here beside me. If you know his story, it's pretty special. Um, just to never give up on your dream. And we've been through a lot of failures um, the past few years, including myself, and this you know, makes it all worth it. And that's what makes this team so dangerous is you know, we have all have a story. We've all been through failure, and um, it's finally good to see it finally pay off, and hopefully we can keep it going. Okay, next question. Anything else for these guys? Yeah, all right. Or just the go. relievers. Mark. AJ, can you just describe what you saw Tyler do tonight and then maybe throughout the postseason? Um, Eddie had a, an unbelievable series, but in my opinion, you know, Matzik was the MVP. And what he's done, you know, pitched every game besides uh, like one game in the postseason so far. And um, what he did was, you know, truly special. He put the team on his back when we needed it the most. And that's what it's all about when it's the postseason. Um, this isn't a selfish group. We're all pull for each other, and we're so happy you know, that we are a team. And that's, uh, you know, I feel like what separates us from other teams is it's the brotherhood. We love each other, and that's what's going to, you know, get us forward going through the World Series. Okay, great. Dave in the middle. Appreciate it, bro. Uh, Tyler, when you come in in that situation where there's not much room for error at all, uh, I mean, what are, you, are you going for strikeouts there, or what are you going for? Um, yeah, I'm going for at least a strikeout in the first guy. Um, Luke went in there. He struggled a little bit. Some uh, an unfortunate hit that went down the, the left field line. Um, he's gotten me out of those situations plenty of times this season. So uh, you know it's time for me to repay him. And um, yeah, I'm looking to get the first out. You know if we can get a first out and then you know it, it clean it, it opens up a little bit of space for me if I give up a pop fly. Um, you know then we got two outs and maybe that run scores. We're still in the lead. We're okay. Um, but yeah, the first guy I'm looking to strike out. And then it was just all right. Let's. We got the first guy, now let's go after the second guy. And then, all right, well, let's go after the third guy. And so it was just being aggressive, and um, I'm doing it for Luke, trying to keep those runs from scoring for him. And, A.J., it looked like you were as fired up as I've ever seen you after several of those strikeouts, if not all of them. You yeah, were I pumping think after your every fist. hitter, uh, I think I did a fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, how big was that for you? You spent part of the season mm -hmm. in AAA, and you're back now doing what you're doing for this team. Uh, I mean, I felt like I've – you know, let this let this team down so many different times in the past few years, and I let the fans down. And I feel like I just went out there and I just wanted to give it all for them. Um, like I said, we, we all have our story, and I've been through failure, and, you know, I feel like I wouldn't be in this spot, you know, tonight if I haven't gone through that failure. Uh, it just made me prepare for this moment, and uh, that's what life is all about. Nothing's supposed, nothing's supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be given to you, and you have to earn it. Game mark. Tyler, uh, I think you were near Houston when the Braves found you, right? That was about four hours north. I was up in the uh, Dallas area. Okay, all right. But you're both going back to Texas. Yeah. Um, you know, what, what does that mean to you here to go to play the Astros in the World Series? Yeah, obviously, I'm going back home. Um, grew up in Texas, born and raised, went to Texas a and right down the road from Houston. It's going to be special. Um, just to go out back there and play in front of – uh, fans or friends and family, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be truly, truly special. And like I said, we're, we we plan on going there and uh, winning the whole thing. Um, can't wait to get it started. Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, Texas keeps bringing me back to baseball, and um, I'm fortunate for my time in uh, when I was with with the Air Hogs in Arlington area. And um, 
I think this is a little bit different baseball, but uh, baseball's baseball, man, and I just can't wait to go out there and play it. Okay. Far left over here. Aggies won the night, by the way, AJ, so you got that. But uh, you guys uh, – there you go. Uh, you guys uh, talking about just, the, you know, you going to Gwinnett, coming back, Tyler with yours, and – Luke, I mean, a couple of years ago, having his struggles as well. Do you feel like that kind of bonds you guys out there? That it's you've been through those, you know how to pick people up. That's what makes us into the you know the people we are today, the baseball players we are. Um, like I said, everyone, if you haven't gone through failure, then you, you know you haven't experienced life. Um, that's what you know. Going through failure, you know, it it, it builds you. I mean, it's going to make you better. Um, if you have the taste of you know failing and the taste of winning, um, that's what keeps you driving. And I, I choose winning every time. So uh, that's what that's our fuel. Okay. Right here in the middle. Yeah, for both of you guys, just two of the mainstays here. Snit, you guys know how long he's been at this, and Freddie and what he's meant to the Braves. For both of those guys, I mean, how happy are, are you all to see both of them in this? I mean, I'm extremely happy for both of them. Uh, I love Snit. Snit's a great manager. Um, and Freddie's a, a great teammate. And, um, yeah, I'm just so happy that, you know, the whole team's going to be able to go there and, and, and show, show the nation what, we're, uh, what the Atlanta Braves baseball is all about. Um, we're going to go out there, we're going to play aggressive, and we're going to try and win this thing. Yeah, it's, it's the definition of Atlanta Brave. It's everything he knows, is everything he's worked for his whole life. It's been, what, 40-something years he's been in the organization. Um, you couldn't ask for this to happen to a better person, better manager. Um, he, he's the heartbeat. You know, he keeps us going. And Freddie, I mean, he, he is an Atlanta Brave. And, you know, I know there's been a lot of talk, and hopefully he can stay here in Atlanta. And um, he's been through the ups and downs, and he knows what it takes to get it uh, moving forward. And hopefully we can, we can bring it home. Thank you.